I knew it. I knew it. I mean, in a way, we all knew it. It, the time has come, the news is finally here, and it feels great to know we are finally getting a banished phantom. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I, you know, th this is something that I think we all knew was coming. We all knew was in the pipeline. I've said on, I don't know, dozens of videos now that the only possible option for Mega is to make a banished phantom. And I've gone through all the reasons why I've drip fed you information for the past year. Obvi like, I've not known. Like, I've not been given any information. I've just thought that it was almost guaranteed. And now we finally have a banished phantom up for pre order on deepdiscount.com. It's a little expensive, but it's definitely going to be the new spiritual successor to the Pelican, and I'm ready for it. So last night, deepdiscount.com listed five new Halo sets. Four of them I'm going to go into detail on another video, because I just wanted to get this one out first. I think there's so much to talk about, but some of the other sets that have been announced as well. There's a Sand Trap set. I mean, this is pretty wild, guys. And all of these seem like they're going to be slated for release in June. I've heard online that Deep Discount usually has a bit of a delay on shipping, so maybe these are like summer, even August sets. Ten years after the first Covenant Phantom released, ten years ago, in 2011, and now we finally have a new one. And just saying that out loud, 2011, ten years ago, the Covenant Phantom premiered, and that thing was a beast. It came with the Arbiter, a white flight elite, and two grunts, and that beautiful purple energy sword. It was 906 pieces, and is one of the most sought after, hard to get, and scalped sets online to this date. Like, some of the prices online for the original Covenant Phantom are... Uh, not good. Not good. So it's really great for most fans to hear that they can now get a new Phantom. I know the same reaction was shared when the Arbiter's Quest premiered because that's a new Banshee. Same with the Master Chief and Warthog. Like every time Mega reintroduces a vehicle, it's rejoiced by kids and collectors alike that can't afford the original one. And the same goes as well for the Falcon with the new Winter Contingency. Like it's all good. And some people complain when Mega recycles old vehicles. Vehicles, I never really tend to because they have to do it every couple of years so all of the fans can get the vehicles. Halo has this iconic slate of vehicles and it's really only fair that you can collect them all. So 10 years later, it'll be 11 years when it actually releases since we got the last Phantom. That makes me feel old. I did an original fast build of the first Phantom probably 10 years ago now. The vehicle itself consists of three primary colours, mostly purple throughout with some grey secondary colouring here and some black along the t top of the ship there. And here I am still covering this stuff so it, it's pretty great. There's a legacy there I think. There aren't many details yet, it's just called the Mega Brands Halo Banished Phantom. Deepdiscount.com has it listed as $135 retail, reduced to $106 on their website for pre-order. I don't know what the final price will be but I think $150 is kind of what the original Pelican was going for and then it started to be reduced down to $100 and now the Pelican isn't sold anywhere, it's right back up scalped price. Like any big set, and it is hard sometimes, but I do give the advice that if you are slightly deciding whether or not to buy or wait for a big set, I think you do have to buy a big set when it releases so it doesn't get madly scalped in the future. That's really the logical way of doing things. And I also wouldn't advise pre-ordering from deepdiscount.com. I've heard that their shipping times are pretty ridiculous and they delay things like mad. And this is just a placeholder anyway. They'll have heard of this set from Mega Brands. They'll have put it straight up, but I wouldn't pre-order from them. It'll be available in every store, the same way the Pelican was. And really, just after the last year, it's funny that this is finally announced. I, like, I've honestly honestly been driving the idea home that we're gonna get a banished phantom for the last year. We got a micro build of the phantom in the series 2 blind bags and Mega has had this great contrast between their sets. They'll release the recon getaway and then they'll release the ghost and they'll be kind of like the same set but mirrored. They've done the same with the marine platoon pack and now the banished garrison pack and the same with the warthog and then the chopper. They like 
is sort of the same price sets from both sides of the fight. So I thought, you know, we've got a pelican. The opposite of a pelican is the phantom. It just makes sense that we were going to get one this year, if not next year. I'm kind of surprised we didn't get one this winter, to be honest. I've also heard from design leads at Mega Brands themselves that when they get a new game coming out, the design teams at these toy companies are allowed to go to 343 Industries, but they're showed rough assets and very basic things, so they have to devise sets based on a very little amount of information they've been shared. So I think back to when Mega will have visited 343 originally, and they would have seen some of the assets from Halo Infinite maybe a year before release, and they will have had to design all the sets. It makes sense that the Banished Phantom is one of the only assets they would have seen in-game, so they would have been able to produce a set of it. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, are you hyped for the Banished Phantom? I sure as heck am. I'm very excited to have that side by side with the Pelican, even though I did send my Pelican back to the UK to cover shipping costs when we traveled to the US. I'm still excited to get this Banished Phantom and I still got all the way till next June to save up some money for it. If you want your Phantom fix before the Banished one releases, check out the Assault on Squad 45. They use so many in that show and I remember back in the day when I watched that it inspired me to buy an army of Phantoms back in the day. And that's it for today folks. To celebrate the Banished Phantom being announced, I'm giving away a micro Banished Phantom to whoever comments down below. win this micro banished phantom simply like this video comment down below saying we are the banished these ones are really actually like a really impressive design i haven't built one in a while because i don't have too many banished phantoms i got more pelicans and spirit of fires such a delicate intricate build and i really love all these different smoothed off red pieces running all the way around it so let's hope that this scales up to something way bigger and more impressive when the Banished Phantom drops in June, maybe August next year. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys. You stay awesome, you stay safe. This was another news video with The Domain. Keep it with this channel for all your Halo toy news. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome to another Halo Megablocks review by the SS Motion. So, today I'll be reviewing the Covenant Phantom. This is item number 96941, is a 906 pieces, and retails currently at about 70 to 80 pounds.